Aries. So I am tapped into someone's energy that is single and um, single, private, bachelor, bachelorette, very successful, um, self-confident, self-love, self-everything. You have gotten a lot of things in your life based off of your strength, your tenacity and um I feel like something is shocking okay you may be shocked about something or you're like going through a wave of emotions where it's like oh oh my god and it's like can't sleep can't eat can't think I'm not sure what's going on and if that's you then I have a I have a message for you we have a message for you guys today if y'all are new welcome to the channel, the teacher's lounge. Okay. So, um, I didn't have nothing elaborate. <laughs> I didn't have nothing theatrical to say, but yeah, the teacher's lounge. I feel as if that's kind of the vibe that you're going to be into today. Where it's like, <sighs> here we are again. Me, it's like doing the same repetitious thing over and over and over again. And it's like, this can't be life, yo. Like, this can't be, this can't be it. This can't be all there is to life. All right. So I'm going through the wave of emotions with you. Um, like multitaskers, multi things going on. You have 12 hands. Okay. You're a spider. Okay. You may, t you may resonate with the spider energy, but seriously, um, that's how I channel you guys. I'm going to go through the wave of emotions with y'all. But let's get into your cards. Nonetheless, what's today going to be? Okay, we just one one more day. Something about one more day in the week. You got this. Whenever you watch this, it may be one more day in the week, in the work week. Um, and then you'll be able to celebrate. For others of you, it's like two more months. And then you'll be able to separate. You'll be her separate. Okay, some of y'all, you are trying to separate or sever certain things in order to um, wait, maybe for a contract to end or something like that. All right. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. That may be a thing as well, where you may tend to get sidetracked or you may tend to like wander off into space and all right, let's bring it back. Okay, focus, focus. Damn it. Why can't I focus? Let me spray something. I don't know why I'm talking too much. You may talk to yourself a lot. <laughs> Okay, and that's how your mind works. Creativity is just <laughs> do you see sparkling. All right, so you have a <clears throat> you got a couple cards here. All right, Taurus. So I'm gonna show you all the cards, and then we will jump into unpacking what those mean, what messages that I see for you, and um, yeah, any other messages. I, yo, I can't be here long because this is the type of energy where it's like. psychic yeah very psychic but like you're like everywhere but right here everywhere got a lot your mind can be multiple places at once like you literally have that spider energy where your visions you're like here you're astro traveling here you're astro projecting here and it's like maybe you got a new gift and it's hard for you to stay still others of you it's just maybe you have um you have this gift and it's like how you you're you're never really by yourself because you're always somewhere else yeah it feels like a gift that be doing its own thing sometimes <laughs> all right so we have carless in reverse all right no car repo car issues in reverse so you good on that <clears throat> we have exaltation all right which is strong tourist energy you also have calling in your soulmate in reversed, okay? So, <clears throat> something may not be the time for something. And then we have ask for help, all right? I'm also seeing you guys trying to trying to stay away from, um, you know, seeing what your person's feelings are. You're trying to stay away from love readings. You're trying to stay away from things that kind of keep you in that spacey energy because you're already in outer space. <laughs> we also have halt here. And it says, money has come to a complete halt or money is slow in coming in. Don't borrow more than you can repay. Debt might be piling up. 
Mm-hmm. And then we have future self in reverse. Uh-huh. And then we have key. New beginning new beginnings, direction, and adventures awaits for those ready to, to let go of the past. That's in reverse. All right, we have a new beginning as well. Um, try again, new direction, start over. Where you want to put this spirit? We're going to put that right here. Because that has something to do with that energy over there. We'll come back to that. You also have elder, wisdom bearer, experience, tradition, kindness, and health. Okay. Gifts. All right. You are uncovering new talents that will land you new work and better position. You could get more money with the deals as well. Okay. All right. We have enlightenment, pursue spiritual growth. All right. And then most importantly, we have teacher in reverse shadow attributes, manipulating or abusing students, students. Teaching negative traits or destructive skills. <clears throat> Ooh, so it's a lot going on. Child. It's a lot going on. All right, Taurus. Let's pull out our tarot deck. And let's get into these messages. So. Whew, right now, your future self is not really giving you answers. Okay, so your future self has uh removed itself from taking the lead right now all right and i feel like the reason why your future self has you're unable to really tap in with that future self is because life may be happening right now where you have to really focus on schedules projects getting certain things done um you're trying to cultivate something all right, so it's like the universe, your higher self may have told you to take a break. Um, but you're not quite ready to take a break right now. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing jackfruit here. So this is definitely workaholic energy. You may talk to yourself a lot to like amp yourself up to prepare for something that you may be doing. So the word the so the scoop on you is that you do have the means necessary to show up to functions. You do have the means necessary to go and meet up and communicate and deal with people, you know, but you're personally choosing not to go around. So you're not really trying to drive your car. You're not really trying to travel right now. You're not really trying to do anything. A lot of you are reframing. Okay, from sharing a lot with people um, because you're good in your little bubble, you're good in your little space. And so other people's issues, you're really not, <laughs> you're not trying to take on other people's issues. Like, yeah, you out of sight, out of mind, you a ghost out here. So that second house energy with exalt, with exaltation, um, when the time comes where you're ready to celebrate, you'll come out. I feel like right now. You're feasting off your own harvest, okay? You're loving on you. You're loving off, you're creating with your energy. You're loving off on your energy. So to give that away right now to external people will really deplete you. And you've been working to build this momentum. <sighs> All of a sudden, I started to feel like shortness of breath. So I don't know if this is like adrenaline or you're, you're doing something of adrenaline to make yourself like produce, 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 produce. Uh-huh. Hmm. This has something to do with this gift or talent that you have. It unlocks better when you're not trying to speed or be forceful. Mm-hmm. It's the attraction. You need to be in a different frequency. That's what I'm hearing. So why is the higher self in reverse? What's up with the higher higher self? The future self, excuse me. 
The future self is in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles. Because it's hard to focus. It's hard to focus on what's coming in. When you don't know what's coming. So it's like you knowing what's about to come. Kind of keeps you at. Like a bell right. So you knowing that this. This next thing is about to come in. Kind of keeps you excited and amped up. And that's that adrenaline. So you may be using divination. As a form of an adrenaline. Or dopamine hit. Like when I see what's about to come in. I hold that energy longer. I stay excited. And when you need another fix. That's when you go and you seek guidance for some of you for others of you you may be using um just keeping your mind in the 5d realm of what's about to come in as a way to show up for work get through the day and really zone out and be in two places at once and that's the scattered energy right so <clears throat> what they're showing me is when do you ever turn off that gift right when do you ever detach from that talent that gift and allow yourself to really be in your physical experience in a healthy way so the 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 verification or the validation of your manifestation coming in like it's like oh yeah I got it I got the team this is what's about to happen so now I know I can like rest assured it's about to happen. It's about to come in. It's coming in for me. And then for others of you. It's like you're trying to hold two dimensional realities. Where it's like. You on one, and from one phase to the outside world. You're holding this projection that. You're not calling in anyone. You're not waiting for no soulmate. You're not trying to meet nobody. And then on the other end. There's this energy of. Yes, I am. So I do need to hear that confirmation. I do need to hear that reassurance. So I know that it's still in the, it's still it's still perfect alignment. It's still happening. So you're holding two realities simultaneously parallel to each other running at the same time. So two specific programs are running at the same time. One for the people that you want to know and others for the other for other people. Whew. And I feel like that's where it's stemming from. In order for you to be able to utilize this gift or this ability that you have, you have to be a very old soul. Um, so this could be your higher self, actually, like wizard. Okay, you could be some type of wizard. I was going to say wizard of Waverly's place. <laughs> you could be some type of. What's his name? Gandalf the Great. <laughs> it could be Gandalf the Great out here yeah master of illusions you're a master you're a master um sorcerer this is your gift this is your ability so you can hold two illusions at the same time and you can also project the intention yes like this reality is real not real but I could still send you messages and I could still communicate to you that I want you to have this all while cloaking OK, very much low key energy, all while creating another illusion for for a whole different collective or a whole group of people. So you are a master of disguise and illusions right now. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I feel like when people are asking you, well, how do you do that? How do you do this or how do you do that? You can't really explain it to them. You can't teach this. All right. Because with power comes great responsibility. Like you are a weaver of dreams. You are a spider. <laughs> You're a web. Okay. Dot com. That's why I heard digital, digital, get down. So you know how to make many web pages, multiple pages, back pages. <laughs> you may have been the one that created it. Okay. You created the vehicle. And people don't even know that. Uh-huh. They're like, oh, you got it. I know you have it. But the reality of it is you will have it, but you don't have it. And some of you 
Like you want to hold this illusion that you don't have it, but you do have it. So there, it's backwards and forwards for different ones of you. It just depends on what you're trying to manifest, um, especially if it has anything to do with money or finances, because sh it shows in a halt here, which means y'all are y'all. These are my creatives. And to protect it, I feel as if you you may not go to other people on your same level to tell you about yourself because at the end of the day, other other sorcerers that connect with other sorcerers or warlocks or whatever, which is take it how it resonates. Um they're they're unteachable, right? They already have it ingrained inside of their mind like what it is that they're doing so they're unteachable and when they're unteachable they're more biased you know they're more judgmental so if another person comes across this energy and it's like witch it's like sorcerer warlock you know <laughs> so i feel as if you have um you can't just go to anyone for help or assistance because when witnessing this it'll be people will perceive it in a negative way because it's like who are you and how can you do something like this how do you have this ability you know what i'm saying hold on i have to spray this how do you have this ability to just be so attractive and smell so good how do you know how to do this who taught you this who are you really so that's that um yeah this is giving me a lot of um uh, yeah, Saint Germain energy. I heard I heard Jesus taught me. So I'm hearing Kanye West. Um You know a lot of secrets. You have a lot of keys, but you can't give it to anyone and you can't share it with anyone. Um and so your future self came back to you a long time ago and has been coming back to you throughout your life telling you all of this but you have no one else to share it with or no one else knows. You get what I'm saying? So you may resonate with prophecies, anointings, and different um, reincarnations and stuff like that. Ace of Cups. So when you separate yourself and you emotionally detach, All that energy, you have to channel it somewhere. Otherwise, you'll just like self-destruct or self-implode. That's what I'm picking up here. It could be very self-destructive energy if you don't get it out. It's like, um, what's that character? Like two sides to you, Jackal and High. That's what I'm picking up. But it's very inconspicuous. It's very mysterious. It's, but it's, it's, it's not noticeable, but it's noticeable. <clears throat> so I feel like somebody wants to hire you to be some type of exclusive mm -hmm. some type of exclusive offer here mm -hmm. but you can't tell anybody there's going to be some type of exclusive offer where you may switch over from being public into private sectors, right? So if you are a licensed nurse, you may start doing private, be a private nurse for a family. If you are <clears throat> a teacher, you may become a private tutor to a very prominent family that don't really like a lot of people in their family. They may ask you to live with them, okay? And be that, that nurse, that nanny, Yeah, where it's like you have access to the cars, the, you know, whatever it is that you need. You may have your own room, your own West Wing, okay? So, you, I feel like there's a big offer coming in. Um, mm-hmm. It's like going to Wonderland, you know? Someone here has a lot of wisdom, and someone here... Um, as a student, because we have teacher, which means we're talking about the Hierophants, which is the teacher's lounge, right? So someone is a student and someone is a teacher here. Uh, so if there is like a student teacher dynamic and you see the potential in someone and you want to help them, maybe you want to offer them some type of 
transportation resource or maybe you want to offer them some type of foster care adoption resource you see what I'm saying so there's that energy as well where it's like okay you have this really great talent of becoming a great baseball football I don't know player um maybe your parents are are unable to really facilitate you and it's like well I want to help I want to help sponsor I want to help this person this is no different than this the same type of energy that I'm seeing here is like Denzel helping uh what's his name? Chad. I think it's Chad. Black Panther. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta get better with names. I don't do good with names, y'all. Yeah, I hope y'all know that. Um get the you know, get the proper resources for auditions and 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 acting school and different things like that. So for him to share those things, this is like that same type of dynamic where, you know, Denzel wasn't going around picking up the phone and saying, Oh, I have this, this person that I'm sponsoring or I'm helping or, but this is what I'm seeing here. Someone sees your talent, someone sees your gifts, your abilities, and, um, they want to help you maintain your independence, you know, while at the same time giving you access, right. To certain doors and resources and things like that but I do feel as if this is like a private sector where you're switching from being you know public service to private service okay so you may get a contract with a with a with a famous person or something like that yeah because we have here um where you can't tell no one that you're working for someone you may sign NDAs it's non-disclosures things like that but with the with the back and forth energy, I feel like this is one of those situations where it's a closed contract. That's what I'm sensing here. You know what I mean? Professionally speaking, you are, some of y'all are moving for this opportunity or you will have to move for this opportunity. And I feel like there's a lot that your future self isn't telling you yet. Because a lot of you do it. There is, I see the timeline where you do this and you have absolutely no idea that you're about to make this decision. You have absolutely no idea what's about to come in. You're never going to have to ask anyone for help. You're never going to have to, to, um, cause like you're going to know everything. But I feel like this, that point hasn't come yet. All right. The number two could be very significant. This opportunity hasn't come about yet. This private, private sector hasn't, um, hasn't come yet. That's what I'm seeing here. Spirit, clarify this. Um, what's this Carlos situation about the King of Pentacles in reverse? Huh? Someone's very frugal, okay? Someone is very frugal, but the people that know them well, when they are closer to that person, they know the way that someone splurges, but they don't talk about it. They don't really share it. So there's something about someone um, has a lot, but to the rest of the world, it appears as if they don't have much and they strategically live their life this way. Um, simple things, real simple things. Okay. So they prefer, like I said, to maintain this illusion of, you know, not having a lot of options. This isn't someone rocking chains and goads and, and running up a whole bunch of different holes in, in every area code. This is not what I'm seeing here. What I'm seeing is someone that, um, has their head on straight, but they're, to the public eye, they are greedy. To the public eye, they are never satisfied, always want more. But that's the furthest from the truth. Nobody really knows this person because of that sorcerer energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's this halt about? The Ace of Swords. Mm. Like, let's be real. Okay. Something is 
at a decline with this halt here. It's either coming to a halt or it's been like locked up. Okay. It's been it's been locked up. Now this could be locked up in like a, a safe or locked up in a bank. You could be going through legal situations, whatever the situation may be. Getting out of a situation, who knows? But this is telling me that a lot of your finances is locked up in some type of court case, locked up in some type of contract with the devil energy here that happened a long time ago. And your retribution is coming in some form of injustice that you experienced. Okay, so wrapping up that karmic cycle um, of having to you know, really step outside of yourself in order to maintain your lifestyle. You're really having to deal with people that you really don't want to deal with in order to survive. You're coming out of that struggle love. you're coming out of that survival energy of having to, you know, manipulate, um, do whatever you can to survive just to make ends meet. You're coming out of that energy. Um, <clears throat> so I feel like someone specifically maybe coming in like oh let me school you you know let me teach you a, a thing or two and I feel like whoever this person is they aren't on the level of that Houdini type of energy they're on the level of like someone that's that aspires to be on that high priest high priestess energy okay magician magic energy so in order for them to get on that level, they seek people out and portray themselves to be this, maybe a spiritual teacher or a spiritual guru, or they portray themselves to be uh, skilled in a particular area because they, if they can trick you to start looking at them as if they have the answers to your problems, you'll open up your subconscious mind to whatever this person wants you to believe. So you've dealt with a lot of manipulative people, okay? So you don't ask for help, nor do you spiritually put that intention out there because you believe that it only creates a codependency tie and that's like a direction you won't go in. So I feel like there's this dynamic where when this opportunity come along, comes along, based off your past, you may not initiate that like, hey, I need help or would you help me? So it's like, but someone already knows that you need it. Someone already knows what you need and they're going to offer you it, but they just can't tell you when. All right. For your safety and theirs. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. What they're showing me is that you had to go through a perspective shift of, of knowing that not every last single person is doing that, utilizing that gift or that ability in a negative, toxic way. Not every single person is a bad person, no matter what it looks like to the public eye. You're going to have an opportunity to get to know someone off the strength of you knowing them on a more personal level. This is someone that's going to willingly reveal themselves to you without you having to speculate, worry, or wonder if this person is really, you know, serious. So you're about to be surprised of what's about the series of events that are about to play out in your life. You're about to be shooketh. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, you're about to be shook. You ain't even going to see this coming. And it's as simple as yes or no circle here. <laughs> but like I said, um, wow. Do you believe in magic is the question. That's what I see. That's what I'm seeing here. Like, do you believe in magic? Let's go into this gift spirit because I feel like you got something to say to Taurus in regards to this gift. What's going on with this gift that's uncovering? Um, <clears throat> oh, so you have this ability or this talent to 
pretty much turn lemons into lemonade. This is the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, being homeless, being carless, going through negative experiences. Um, you know how to take all of those things and you wield it as a power to transform your life. Okay, so you already possess the same Houdini gift. You possess this type of high priest, high priestess type of energy. You have infinite potential. Okay, what I'm seeing here is a lot of times people overlook them, them gifts of those people with the ability to see the web. Okay, the infinite potential, the crafter, the weavers, those that create the realities create the illusions this is your superpower and your talent and I feel like you had because it was exploited by other people in a negative way you may have ran away from that gift or ran away from that um that talent as this is wrong no one should have this ability no one should have this power but whoever uses this energy, whoever uses this gift in this way is forever cursed. So if anyone uses this gift to, um, you know, exact their power and harm people to utilize this gift, it will backfire on you. But I am picking up that energy of, um, like I said, resistance. And you see how she has that spider energy. You see how she has all those arms? Mm -hmm. it says gang gang yeah you gotta be you gotta be uh directly connected you gotta be chosen look at all these planets in the sky you gotta be chosen and i feel like you come from a long line of weavers you have the sun the moon the clouds the rain you control the stars the sun the mountains the rivers you saw heaven you are heaven on earth do you understand what i'm saying to you Mm-mm. And I feel like this is um 22. 22, 21. Let me something for you. But 22 is very significant, okay? Which is also a master number. You're a master of a lot of different things. A lot of gifts of trade a lot of gifts of gab a lot of gifts of 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 tasks like you are you there's nothing that you can't do you understand what i'm saying this is the type of gift that you have and with the queen of swords this is also telling me that you can pretty much become anyone which means you're also going to attract a lot of people that um like want to stop you you're also going to attract a lot of people that are afraid of you you're going to attract a lot of people that um accuse you of stuff and which is how and it conjures up fear which is how a lot of people result in that to that experience in the history of going on this whole tangent of eradicating people and burning them at the stake or at the cross so you may have uh, had to go through a lot of different shadow experiences just to discover this truth about yourself so you can stop sleeping on yourself and allowing other people to utilize and unlock parts of yourself for their own gain and their own benefit yes yeah, so you like uh-uh gang gang and i'll be damned if other people have to struggle in the same way yeah this definitely goes out y'all are powerful so so many people are always going to be trying to take this gift take this power absorb this absorb that that's why we have enlightenment pursue spiritual growth so in order for you to understand what's good and what's bad what's right and what's wrong you had to go through stages of enlightenment stages of growth damn i did not i don't want to pick that up hold on 
All right, everything happens for a reason. So this happened because I feel like you're tired of starting over from scratch. You start, you're tired of having to repeat something. Okay, but in order for you to, to reach this next level of exaltation, you got to accept the responsibility. When you accept the responsibility, parts of you are going to unlock this infinite potential. And um, there's no limitation over you anymore. Yeah. And this is a process that will continue going. When you, Because I feel like you are... You're about to start co-creating with the multiverse, not just the uni one universe. You're about to co-create with multiple verses. Hmm. It's like, oh, I got to bend down and pick that shit up again. So I feel like there's this, you need to rest. I feel like you need to rest. Look at that, eight of pentacles. You need to rest so you can recharge yourself. And um, switch your schedule up, especially if you've been on demon time for a little bit. You need your energy to craft. You need your energy to cultivate. And that's just on period. It's not saying no to give up on it and don't do it. But you need to get some rest. Mm hmm Because I'm seeing people that be, that, that literally be like, Okay, what are we doing? Like, y'all are really some. Y'all do not give yourselves enough breaks, enough time off. Like, you run off of air. You may forget to even eat, you know? You're just focusing on what's right in front of you at a time. Um,. So let's get your last message, which is attracting, not chasing. Mm -hmm. And it says anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying, underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude and welcoming energy. I'm going to let you sit on that, Taurus. I'm sending you lots of love, wisdom, and guidance on your journey. And I'll see y'all the next day. Bye-bye.